Right, you guys, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to wipe your computer hardware data from the computer hard drive or SSD. So what we're going to do here is before you sell or donate or throw away your computer, what you're going to need to do is make sure that you sanitize that drive correctly. And we can use wipe drive to do all that for us. Now, White Canyon's wipe drive software will make sure that your drive is permanently erased securely and safely and it will also give you a certificate and verify that all that data has been wiped from the computer so whether you're a home user or whether you're a business you can use white canyon's wipe drive to do that for you now you can use the standard method which will wipe an individual computer one at a time or you can use the pxe network which will basically wipe many computers hundreds of computers at one time or you can use the remote wipe which basically allows you to do many at a time in many different locations and you can wipe all of these with this software this is the enterprise level they do actually uh, give you a certificate at the end of it which uh, basically verifies that all of that data has been securely erased from that drive so you can see here you've got Vera Drive, you've got Wipe Drive Mobile, you've also got System Saver. And there's a few different uh, options available for you, even if you just want to use the home version, which allows you to just buy one license where you can use it once and make sure you erase that drive correctly before you sell it or give it away or donate it to some sort of charity. It works with Windows, Mac and Linux, whether it be ATA, SATA, SCSI, fiber channel or SAS or NVMe, it will do all of those types of drives for you. So head over to Rufus, download their free software, and we're gonna create our bootable media. You can use whatever version you want. I'm gonna use the portable version. I've downloaded this already. Once I've got this downloaded, I can open up the software and this will show us a box on the screen like so. Got the drive already plugged in. I've already created one, but I'll do another one. I need to select the ISO image. So we'll be creating a enterprise level uh, version here. So I'm gonna go down and select the ISO image, which I've downloaded. I'm now gonna click open and this will send it to Rufus. Once we've got this done, you can choose your settings here, partition scheme. I'm gonna choose MBR here, uh, BIOS or UEFI for the target system. I'm leaving the label as wipe drive. And you can see the large FAT32 default is on there selected as well. Once I've done that, I can click start and this will start the process. It will give us a warning box saying all of the data on this USB flash drive is going to be wiped. So I'm going to click OK here. If you've got data on there and you don't want that to happen, then you don't want to continue. Otherwise, it will wipe all the data off your USB flash drive. So we'll let that finish off. Click close. And now all we need to do is boot to our computer. So I'm going to boot up to this computer here. You're going to see me completely wipe the drive clean. I'm going to push Dell or the F2 key to enter the BIOS. What I need to do now is change the boot order to boot to that USB flash drive. So in my case, you can go to boot priority on the right. Or you can enter the boot menu by clicking F8. It's entirely up to you. Yours might be slightly different on your motherboard, but basically what you need to do is change your boot order around to boot to the USB flash drive first. So I'm just going to move the order up here. I can change this back after I've finished. All I need to do now is select F10. So you can see I've got my USB flash drive on the first boot order here, which is my SanDisk drive. You can use this boot menu if you want to. If you don't want to change it in the BIOS, you can use that. And basically, you change this and it will boot to that without changing the boot priority uh, permanently it's just a temporary thing so i'm going to click save yes and this will reboot the system and you will get greeted with the wipe drive 9 enterprise level i'm going to hit wipe drive here and this will then basically boot up to wipe drive takes a bit of time but just give it a bit of time to boot up this is where you're going to need to put in your cloud key that they will supply you when you've purchased this will be a unique key for you to use and it will give you the amount of uh, licenses that you've purchased for how many times you can use it you've also got use dongle which i'm not going to be doing in this video and you've got use dongle server so we're going to use the cloud version and put the key in which i've done and now 
use that key. It authorizes it and it basically lets you uh, get to this stage here. Be careful which ones you select here because it will start wiping all of the data on the drives that are selected. I've got two drives here and I want to make sure that I'm wiping the correct drive. It will basically wipe all types of drives. So just make sure you're being very careful. Inside the options here, you can see we've got the wiping options, which you can do here, which is your wipe pattern, which is the NIST. Uh, you can see that version, which is recommended here. You can enable wipe pattern by type of drive. You can also do the required NIST method and do very quick, or you can do the 100% uh, verify, make sure that all the data is gone. You can do other options what suit your needs. So go in here and make changes to the options to what you need. You can see here, you can also set up the log types, destinations, custom log fields, hardware testing, and other things here. You can see the white patterns here. You can change it to whatever you want. I'm going to leave it as default, and I'm going to take the tick out of the secondary hard drive, which I don't want to wipe, which is a Seagate drive. And I'm just going to go ahead and wipe this NVMe drive. Once this is selected, I can click on the next button and this will take me through to the caution page, which basically is giving me a, a caution and a warning to say, if you continue, all the data on that drive will be erased. And this will make it impossible to recover any data on that drive. So if you are doing some sort of sanitation on a bunch of drives that you're going to be reusing or selling, then this is what you're going to be using this tool for. So if you want to continue, you can just click next and this will then start the erasing process. Now this does take a bit of time depending on the settings that you've chose, but why would you want to do this? Well, if you work in a business where you have sensitive data or you work in a law firm or hospital or people's names and addresses and records on there, maybe bank details and stuff like that, and you're getting rid of that drive or that computer, then it's important that you either destroy the drive properly or you completely erase all the data on that drive before you let it out of your hands. It's your responsibility to make sure that you destroy all the data on that drive. Otherwise, if someone gets it, they can use data recovery software to recover the data on that drive. Now, if you've used this software, then you can see here, wipe is complete. All the data will be erased and it will be unrecoverable and you'll be safe in the knowledge to let that drive go. Anyway, that's basically about it. That's basically how you can wipe a computer's hard drive data using White Canyon's White Drive. Now, this video has been sponsored by White Canyon, and I will basically leave all the links and information in the video description if you are interested in this software. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your continued support. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.